Forestry is one farming area with big returns, but only for patient farmers. In Mubende district, forestry farmers are turning to eucalyptus grandis for maximum benefits. Joshua Nahurira is a smart eucalyptus grandis farmer. He explains that the tree has taken control of farmers because it can be planted by anyone at no initial cost of seedlings. Eucalyptus tree is obtained from a superior mother plant. The branch is cut and made to shoot roots using natural conditions for germination and survival of a plant. Assuming this one is a mother plant with the characteristics you need, uh, you pluck a branch from this mother plant very well. Then after that, you cut it, you cut the branch very well, the way you can see, using a clean uh, razor blade. After that, this is the part that you pot. You can remove all these leaves. You can remove all these leaves. Then you cut off this part. You see? Then after this, you put this in a pot with, with soil. A pot with soil is a polythene bag, small polythene bags with soil. That is when this will start developing roots until it starts to bear other leaves and branches. The tree can only be planted by farmers living on highlands and on hilly areas. They don't grow well in swampy areas or valleys. The soil must have organic manure. Eucalyptus grandis needs a deep, free-draining soil and does based on fertile loamy or clay loamy soils. It also performs well on lighter sandy soils, provided they are deep enough. The soils must be free from termites or else you will be providing food for them. Before you plant, make sure that the place is termite free. If it has a lot of termites with anthills, you first excavate the anthills and apply an anti-termite drug. For example, tamido. Most of the farmers know it. Or you can use it in then. Uh, once you know that and you're sure that the termites are gone, that is when you can start making the holes where you are going to put these, tree, these uh, pot, uh, potted trees. They grow tall, up to 160 feet at maturity. Eucalyptus grandis are friendly to other crops, thus intercropping is possible, but with shallow-rooted crops like legumes such as beans, at four to six years, they are ready for cutting. The demand is high. Eucalyptus grandis takes uh, four to six years for poles. It takes uh, eight to ten years for timber. Yeah, and the demand is quite high. People have liked eucalyptus grandis, reason being it grows very fast. Within four to six years, you are already harvesting four poles. Within a period of eight to ten years, compared to the local variety, you are already harvesting for timber. Within a plantation of beans, it can appear as if the farmer planted it here as a by the way. But this could be just a trap for money. Within the next six years, this farmer could be headed somewhere looking for customers or customers coming for him to take the timber or poles. At the same time, he continues to cultivate beans and other cereals in this garden. The primary potential that has no option but to use eucalyptus grandis is electricity distributors, whose price is rewarding. A pole for eucalyptus grandis can go to 200,000 shillings. A single pole, when it has grown up fully, it can go to 200,000 shillings to 400. Others even take to 400,000 shillings. So it is on a higher demand. Paper manufacturers use pulp. With a big demand for papers, building poles, electricity connections, and other uses of poles, including fencing, a smart farmer patient enough in long-term ventures is assured of heavy returns. Kenneth Bwire, WBS Smart Farming. Structures like